be honest, I, I think this bike is perfect for all your normal riding needs. It's not too powerful. I taught like an ex-girlfriend how to ride on this thing and she had it in 30 minutes. Meanwhile. <laughs> okay we're still recording dope awesome but yeah this thing's light like a sport bike or light like a dirt bike it's great um there's tons of stunt availability or stunt part availability for it so if you want to get a cage there's plenty of them this is kind of the new the new stunt bike as far as you know if we're talking you know f4i's and 636's this is kind of where it's at right now and again the r7 and the mt07 are pretty much the same thing just restyled um with a few you know tweaks here and there i like the fz07 styling more than the mt07 just personally but you know it's pretty sweet you know as far as parts go i got the fms cage stock sprocket i did have a big one i switched back to stock and i love it way more just for just for normal stunting i can do the highway now i was running a 56 in the rear and one down in the front so it was basically a 59 setup for the rear brake that was a part i actually really liked i went with galfer uh pads galfer semi-metallic pads with a cormoto steel line it's all dirty it was rainy yesterday uh motul 600 fluid and I love the feel of this brake. It's not too much, but it's definitely there if you need it. It's a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, I've crashed on this bike plenty of times. I cracked my water pump cover one time, so I put on this little polymer cover on the new one just in case, because that is kind of an area that the cage doesn't necessarily cover. I recently put on these SS Moto rear sets and I love them. They're super sweet. They're sturdy. Um, you know, it's not only is it a sturdy rear set, but it's also kind of an addition to your crash protection. So, you know, in case, in case you drop your bike, you have, you know, your sub cage, your rear set and your normal cage up top. I'm running pro taper bars. I think these are the CR highs. Really it's up to you, whichever. Uh, whichever one you prefer ODI grips again personal preference pretty much everything up here is personal preference as far as the headlight I looped and I Totally messed up my headlight So I decided to just go with the dirt look because I I like that a lot better And I got you know the Amazon special headlight that's mounted on there with spare door brackets and a zip tie That was just laying around so it's you know real sturdy RSC clutch lever super great clutch lever i love this uh this lever just for even just for normal riding even if you're not stunting it just makes feathering your clutch a lot easier you have a, a bit more leverage on it even though you're only using one finger custom thrill seeker seat covers these are really nice i am not really a fan of the color anymore either way they're great they grip you real nice uh and you can put your own logo on it which is pretty cool normal seat is a bit tough to wrap just because the shape of it but it's pretty sweet gpr 300 in the rear i love the gpr 300s for the, for your rear tires they're great they are inexpensive and cheap meaning you can burn through them and you don't have to worry about it then they'll spend the money on the front tire which is exactly how i do it because i need my front to stick but if my rear slips out on purpose or an accident then you know that's all good um, you can recover from that and i don't want to drop 250 bucks on a rear tire when I could drop 100, 130 to have it completely mounted. Got out uh, Smoggy Doggy because he will hook you up really nicely. Stock front brake setup, it's starting to give me a little bit of uh, give, so I might swap it out. But yeah, this bike is bulletproof, dude. The engine from the engine to all the other stuff, I think my frame is bent just a tad. It's a little crooked on the. Uh, on the sub cage but that's all right whatever that that's kind of mainly the parts that i put on this thing and of course the the carbon fiber the carbon fiber fairings these are sweet these were there when i bought it but they're they're awesome i think as far as oh yeah and then idle adjuster and i put on a 
aftermarket CNC shift lever because whenever I would drop my bike, I would always break the OEM shift lever. So that was something I really wanted to replace. Even though it's just a Chinese one, it hasn't broken yet and it's adjustable. So, you know, that's pretty sweet. We got the quad lock. I didn't really want to spend all the money on the quad lock, but I haven't had a whole lot of success with other uh, phone mounts in the, in the past. So I decided to just drop the money on it, protect my phone, and have a you know a sturdy way to you know have maps or whatever. Broke my kill switch right here, so I did a little kill switch delete. If you go onto Twin Stunts channel, they have a video on how to wire this all up, where you have a just like a dirt bike push start, and then your your kill switch is just your key or your kickstand. But yeah, I think that's all the all the big parts. There's some other stuff here and there probably, but I just run Yamalube's oil. You can buy an oil change kit for the FZ07, which is pretty sweet. So it'll have the exact filter, exact oil that Yamaha recommends, the exact oil that like the dealers are gonna use for, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks on Amazon, which is pretty sweet. So I change my oil often. I run engine ice coolant. Those are, those are kind of everything, you know? As long as you do your frequent maintenance, as for any bike, You'll be able to keep it safe just fine and keep it running as long as you want this is my little lucky bracelet my aunt gave me i just always keep it on that thing just to i don't know be a little superstitious and keep me safe while i'm riding oh exhaust um akropovic full system kropovic akropovic whatever you want to call it sweet exhaust it's not too loud i like the m4s and the sc projects they're real barky uh, the M4s are nice because they're not too expensive in comparison, but the Acro was on there when I bought it, so I've been rocking it ever since. And I've had this bike for a minute now. It's been about a year and a half since I bought this bike, and I love it. I I really can't um, I can't find a way to top this bike just for my personal preferences and the way that I like to ride with any other bike if I could only have one. Now, if I could have multiple, I don't know about that. I might go with something like a 636 or a sport bike and a supermoto so that I can have both ends of the extreme and not have to just compromise in the middle. But that's completely up to you. So to be honest, I, I think this bike is perfect for all your normal riding needs. It's not too powerful. I taught like an ex-girlfriend how to ride on this thing and she had it in 30 minutes. Now that's individual for everybody you know everybody's gonna learn differently but i think if you got this as like a first bike or a friend let you ride it and they're teaching you how to ride and they're uh, you know a decent teacher and you're a decent learner then you're gonna be just fine on it especially on a sprock a stock sprocket setup she learned on the fucking massive ass 59 setup so yeah it's, it's not too much but it's plenty you can do highway comfortably you can pop your wheelies comfortably you can just normally commute comfortably around the city yeah just kind of gushing over this bike i love it if you're thinking about getting an fc07 definitely get one price is going to be a little bit higher than what i bought it for actually probably a lot higher last time i checked stunted fz07s were in the six to seven range where i live but it's probably going to be a little bit different where you live if you're looking for a bike kind of around that five grand point and maybe it's your second bike or you just want something fun then absolutely go for this bike spend a little bit extra money if you want to to get you know a stunted version be careful when you're buying the stunt versions or really just be careful when you're buying from any private seller but it's definitely awesome it's definitely worth it it's a sweet bike so i'm gonna keep chilling and practicing but i'll uh see y'all later These guys are still up here. Oh, they are. Y'all just chilling. He got that sonar rig on top. Ooh. I don't usually practice at this lot. I like the one over there, but this is actually pretty sweet. They're doing investigations over there. Got their pro police work going on. Oh, by the way, if you like the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. All comments are appreciated. It helps the algorithm a bit. You... I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my other bike. I'm going to drop my son at home. Hell yeah.
guys looking like you're having too much fun. If you're gonna do the whole lot. Two cups of coffee in me. This is dope. Oh, they're leaving. Mr. Echo Location Cop over here. It got your whole thing. I didn't. I didn't think it would be recording for that long. I Damn. My, uh, my fan. My fan's all fucked up. I know this one's going. I don't think this one's broken. Did it come loose? Yeah, it's just, uh, I'm to out a way. Oh, I know how I did it. I JV welded it. Hey, that's all right, though. Oh yeah, it's just the tab. It'd be worse. Way worse. Yeah. Well, hey man, that was. Why not anyway?